Hey guys, Colin Forney here. I wanted to do a quick burnout because I'm getting a new tire put on and this tire had a little bit of tread left, so hope you guys like it. Bug hit me right in the neck. Almost at right at my the side of my Adam's apple. Damn. Felt kind of felt like I got hit with like uh, what are those guns? What are those that shoot the plastic BB? BB? No, they're not airsoft. Yeah, felt like I got shot with the airsoft gun. <laughs> Ooh, that fucker hurt. Good. Oh, traffic. I don't want any traffic right now. I got a place to be. Damn, there's a shit ton of traffic in on 50. wonder why it's so bad. I gotta get over here soon, damn it. Come on, guy. Come on, Nevada. What are you slowing down for? Cicle. That's is how I roll. Damn, that dude's tire is getting pretty flat. I'll put my blinker on so I'm not too much. Not, it's not really an asshole move because you know a motorcycle is so small. It's not like it's not like I'm actually. There's a uh, sign. Sai? I forget his name. Well, I just don't know how to say it. What does second gear go to? I'm curious now. So first goes to like 60. Second goes to around 80 ish, I think. So 66, 87. So that means third gear is going to be over a hundo. I really like those new, those new Mustangs are pretty sweet looking. I mean, I'm not a Ford fan. I'm definitely a Camaro guy all the way. But the new Mustangs look pretty badass. They look they look awesome. It almost makes me start to become a fan. I'm a fan of it. It's it's a it's a badass car. And then there's the Mustang. What's that? G350 GT. Or I don't remember what it, what exactly it's called, but I think it's supposed to compete with kind of like the Camaro Z28. That'll be fun to see when that stuff comes out. You know, although we rag on each other a lot of the time about you know whose team is better or what car is faster or motorcycle you know fuck motorcycles what what up what the fuck i'm riding uh, without without that that rivalry they're you know your yamaha or your mustang or your camaro or whatever wouldn't be as good if there wasn't any competition so you have to appreciate the competition and I appreciate that Mustang it's a badass car
but I like Camaros more. Looks, I would, uh, I've always been a Chevy guy, so, but that doesn't mean I wouldn't buy a Ford. I just, I like Chevys. So I like the Camaro. I think it's a badass fucking car. But it, Mustangs are badass too, so. It's like when people get on, you know, Jixers for being squid bikes or, you know, whatever, or Honda suck or Yamahas are crap. They're always breaking. Really, I think they're all really good bikes, all really good brands. You know, every every different company is going to have a, a little bit different quirk. Uh, for Yamaha, as far as I'm aware of, the uh, cam chain tensioner is, you know, bound to fail at some point. At least that's what a lot of people have said. So I changed mine right away and just put a APE. -A 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 it's, it's a manual one, so you have to adjust it every once in a while. Because a lot of people are saying it was failing on them, and they'd go, and they, you know, Yamaha would put another one on them for, on the bike for them, and then it'd go out a couple thousand miles later. So I was like, fuck that, I'll just do the manual stuff. So, every bike has quirks about it. I had my CBR, well, like three years. I actually don't know if I ever had any problems with that. I had okay I did have one I had a problem where it wouldn't it took like 10 seconds to start cranking it only happened maybe like two or three times the whole time I had it and I thought maybe like the fuel pump was going out but then it would go back to normal it, it would it would do it once every you know fuck almost once a year it, it would just do it at some point I don't know but it, I'm sure it wasn't a big deal so I never cared cared to uh, look further into it but every bike has you know a little something about it that could be a little bit better or could have been designed a little bit better but in the end they're all really good bikes I mean there's really not any bikes that come out that are just complete shit Get out the way, bitch. There we go. American River Drive. So this is the uh, American River in all its glory. Obviously a little low. Because we're in California and there ain't no fucking water here. But hopefully a little El Nino will hit this winter. And we'll get a shit ton of rain. Which obviously isn't going to solve all of California's water problems. But it sure isn't going to not help. <sighs> American River Drive. This is like the rich, rich neighborhoods. Well, older, older neighborhoods, but... It, but extremely nice and extremely expensive to live in. I mean, you can tell it's an older neighborhood. You got all the big ass trees. All the lawns are nicely taken care of, even though that's not a, you know, a home or something. But it's funny because then there's this just big blank spot right before you get into the housing development. Probably worth a lot of money. See, look at this, nice ass houses. Grass is perfect. Everything's trimmed up. And we got a fellow motorcycle, ZX14, I believe. Yep. Pretty sweet looking. Pretty sweet. Even though I'm not a huge Kawasaki fan. But they're still badass bikes. I mean, shit, my wife's got a Ninja 300. I guess I gotta be somewhat of a fan. I'm the one that told her to get that bike, so I guess I am somewhat of a fan of Kawasaki. I mean, it was the uh, one she don't she doesn't really like to look at naked bikes too much, except the Z800. But she wanted a full fairing bike, and I didn't want her to get like a 600 first, obviously, especially for her being a female. She's not all 
crazy. Of course, because she's not crazy, I probably could have got her a 600 because she wouldn't ride it like a 600. But it, it came with ABS, and that was my biggest thing. I wanted a bike for her brand new rider to come with ABS. And I wish I had ABS too. But it's funny because I never thought she would one, I never thought she'd want a motorcycle, and then she ended up wanting one, so she got one. But I wouldn't, I didn't think she'd be a fast rider. And uh, it's funny because she's had that bike for a couple months now, and she complains that it's too slow. So that's kind of funny. So I probably could have got her a 600, and I kind of wish I did because I don't know, 300s are slow. It's slow as fuck. <laughs> that's alright though. You live and you learn. You know, I'm glad I started on a 600 because if I started, well, I rode dirt bikes before, and some people are gonna say that doesn't matter, it's different on the street, but I don't, I disagree. If you can ride a dirt bike, you can ride a street bike. If anything, it's almost easier because on a dirt bike, you gotta worry about hitting rocks or your tires sliding out a lot because the ground's all loose and crap. In the street, you don't have to really worry about that if you're riding just at a, normal you know if you're just driving normally but I kind of wish I got a 600 whatever one she wanted I don't care whatever one she likes I mean she picks bikes she wanted the cows the ninja 300 because of the looks you know that's how my wife is she only cares about really the looks but now she's starting to realize like oh she cared about the performance as well which is funny <clears throat> All right, guys, that's all I got for y'all today. It's a quick random moto vlog, my way to school. And like, comment, subscribe if you like the video. Peace, catch y'all later.